We're right. doing the after buzz. After buzz. But don't we have to be buzzed for the after buzz? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're we were catching it on the technicality part. Yeah. Well. Well, technically. We're at the Raps Power Women Summit. Yes, we are. This is super exciting. Uh, this is so much estrogen. I love it. So I'm a stand-up comic, and as a, as one of the things as a stand-up comedian is that you know, there, in in the stand-up comedy world, guys make fun of women's driving all the time, and I'm like, you know what? One woman at a time. It's like Gandhi said, "Be the change you want to see." Yes. You know, so be, and that's what I'm gonna be. So that's what I'm doing. Breaking for ladies, one car at a time. Breaking for ladies one car at a time. So, the slogan for this is the road to 50-50 by 2020. So what do you think it's going to take? You know, um, I think a lot of people don't acknowledge, I, I think a lot, we don't, as women don't acknowledge the fact that it's only until the 1920s we just got the right to vote. We are literally under a hundred years of standing here and having this conversation, right? So think about what we can do in the next coming years. So as far as the 50-50 goes, uh, I don't think that it is that far off for us, quite frankly. Uh, you know, I started off as a finance person and I was one of the only four women that worked on the trading floor. And that was a really big deal. And now you go and look at the corporate world, it is saturated with incredibly amazing, intelligent, Harvard grad, like you name it. And they're out there trailblazing and competing toe to toe, you know, out there in incredible positions. So uh, what is it gonna take? It's gonna take uh, A, events like this where women come and empower each other. B, having women who are already in positions of power to mentor and give their hand and bring women, other women up and give them that opportunity because men do it for other men. Why can't women do it for other women? You know, I've been very fortunate to meet some incredibly uh, accomplished women in my life and even when I worked in finance who lent their hands to me and, and pulled me up. So uh, I feel like so much of it is that. For the men that are trying to support us, because you know, you mentioned men do it for men, men support men, yes. but what advice would you give to the men who are trying to step up and support women and fight the fight of equality with them? Just remember that you were, you came from a woman, uh, you probably have a daughter, a sister, a wife, a girlfriend, uh, and uh, you probably have a woman in your life that makes your life amazing. Uh, so remember that, you know, a win for us is a win for you. Um, you know, uh, we are not taking anything away from you. As a matter of fact, we're helping you enhance a society that was probably, maybe you thought was good, but then if you give us the power and share that power with us and acknowledge, you know, the amazing things that we bring to the table, we're not taking anything. All we're doing is elevating together. Absolutely. We're going to end on words of affirmation. I believe in positive words of affirmation to uplift each yeah. other. So what, uh, what statements or positive words would you give yourself right here in this moment today? Um, I believe uh, I am enough. I believe I am enough. Yeah.